hello and welcome back to another episode of the real deal and today on the real deal we're gonna be having fried dumpling and tin mackerel okay um again it's not so much the fried dumpling but the tin mackerel which we call dirty girl or skittle which is another poor people food but We wouldn't no longer consider this poor people food we call it. This is something that we use like if we don't have much time to prepare any food for the children. So we call this dash out. So we just dash it out of the pan and cook it up. So mm-hmm. And I love something mackerel. But anyway. <coughs> This fried dumpling are the bomb. I would love to take credit for this fried dumpling, but my friend Jason hooked me up with this dumpling. And apart from Tracy, my friend Tracy is the second person I see do the fried dumpling when I tell you, sir. I could eat every day, I could live a fried dumpling. Guys, these fried dumplings are banging. <coughs> anyway, guys, I'm leaving my husband. I'm moving country. So, sooner or later, I won't be living in Bermuda anymore. As you may all know, for those of you who knew me, or know me, they know that I am a Jamaican, and my husband is from Portugal, and we both live and work in Bermuda. But the thing is, um. I have to go home to Portugal for a little while. Just for a little while, maybe three months. I have some just to start out some business. So, right now I'm busy packing. And guess what, guys? <coughs> The funny thing about going to Portugal is I do not speak Portuguese. <laughs> so imagine and the fact that I am going alone. My husband is staying here in Bermuda. I'm going alone. So the fact that I am going to be by myself in a country that majority is white and I do not speak their language it's gonna be a little bit difficult for me but nevertheless I guess we can help who we love right Language and all. <clears throat> Guys, this is so good. There's, I mean, I mean, you know somebody more in water right now. Somebody more. So my friend Jason who hooked me up with these dumplings. Um if you're living in Bermuda, check out specialty grill. Cinema and grill for these 
scrumptious fried dumpling. These are the bomb. If you're Jamaican and you feel the two fried dumpling, check out Speciality Inn. And if you are Bermudan and you haven't had fried dumpling before, you need to try these. Jason, may I tell the truth? You said me could have made them fried dumpling here? Yeah? I have a dumpling shop in every corner in the world where they would accept me. I would have a dumpling shop everywhere. These dumplings are the bomb. I only wish I could have eaten off all of this. And guys, People keep asking me if I'm eating so much food. I'm not eating all this food, but I actually eat a good amount because I have one meal per day. I'm doing a um intermittent fasting that I do one meal per day, and when I eat now, I don't eat again until the other day. I might make a um. A smoothie later with just fruits and use the um, ripe banana as my sweetener, but I don't eat again. And it's a lifestyle diet. It's it's not a diet. It's um it's a lifestyle that I um I try to live because um. Because of the health benefit, and it also helps you to lose um, weight. Anybody who know me from long time, them know what's like as skinny as this straw, and over time. I start to put on the weight. It's not that um, I eat a lot where I put this weight on. It's because it's in my jeans. <laughs> in my jeans pants. <laughs> it's in my gene. It's genetic. So. I try very hard. To keep this way, um, to try not to get fat, and to be honest, I have to try very hard not to get to 200 pounds. So, I've been doing this now for a while. But because I'm a little bit, I have a little bit hormone issue. That is why my my weight tend to be on the higher side. But guys. Honestly, I would eat this fried dumpling every day. Trust me, every day I would eat this fried dumpling. So as I said, girl, as I said, this is my first meal of the day. And to be honest, when I practice this um, intermittent fasting, it doesn't let me eat as much. The minute I start eating, I start to feel up, feel full because um, this thing they said calorie in, calorie out. I guess I don't use up too much calories. So I try not to take in too much either. So the thing is, 
eating healthy just to keep you alive enough food to keep your body working and keep your body function and keep you alive but do not overeat because when you're starting to overeat you now you start to train your mind and your mind telling you that this is the amount of food you need to be full sometimes when you don't need so much or like if you tell yourself you're hungry your mind is telling you that you're hungry but you actually maybe need some water are you you understand need to snack on some fruits and maybe if you're gonna eat if you're gonna full up on something you're full up on vegetable like lettuce you know lettuce and spinach and all those good good vegetable and you just eat them up or if you don't want to eat them you can just blend them into a juice yeah, and you add your, your ginger and you add your lemon and you probably get the amount you need so the amount of serving you need per day just by drinking blending and drinking I am in no farm no way a nutritionist so I'm just telling you what worked for me or what you know I see work for a lot of other people but the intermittent fasting for people who want to lose weight trust me it kind of work and the thing it keeps you more healthy it kind of start to fix certain things like diabetes if you're diabetes if you have diabetes or them thing there it kind of start to fix those things in your body because <clears throat> they're saying that in ancient days people used to have to hunt for their food and in doing so sometimes they only have one meals a day but that's how we used to live on our you mankind used to live on a regular basis so at the end of the day people you don't get fat because the 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 the, the fat that your body would store your body would then use it up for energy so your body don't get to store all that fat well if you get what i mean Maybe I don't even get what I mean. Anyways, as you see me eat like three of them dumplings here and me, my boss are ready. I'm going to practice myself to eat a lot. But, they are really, really good. Um, They are really, 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 really good. And for the Jamaican them out there, we know your grace are your last mackerel with your fried dumpling. Guys, I'm eating this mackerel and I don't even know what it's called. I don't even know if it's made in you know where. But it's. Mm. I don't want to eat too much carb. But this dumpling, mm, this dumpling, they are good. They are really good. So guys, a lot of people is requesting for me to show how I made the ton car meal. Um, so I am going to do a video with instructions 
and measurements and how I make my original ton caramel recipe so stay, stay tuned for that and um yes of course I'm good I want to do a vlog showing you guys um, around Bermuda for those who have never been to Bermuda who would love to see what Bermuda look like I want to do a vlog before I leave showing you what Bermuda look like and I also want to do a vlog of Azores Portugal where I'm going guys that place is so beautiful it's like a, you're driving through a big botanical garden the only place I have ever seen more beautiful than that place is my Jamaica so I've been blessed to live in two beautiful places and um, Bermuda itself is not bad it's beautiful too so I guess I've, I've been blessed to live in three beautiful play countries because yes Bermuda is um, it's a beautiful island very beautiful so it's um, it's a very small island and then um, it's surrounded by the sea just like Jamaica but it's a lot closer you have a closer view to the sea than if you was in Jamaica but then in Bermuda we do not have any rivers and like in Jamaica we have river till we don't even know which one to swim in so yes Bermuda is beautiful but Azores and Jamaica is two of the most beautiful places I have ever seen. Trust me. So, I am going to be doing a vlog with you showing you guys what my home in Azores, uh, my Azores look like, the, um, the landscape, the scenery. And I'm going to be showing you what Bermuda looks like. So stay tuned for those videos and um, till we meet again live love and laugh and again I say if there's any time that you can lend a helping hand please do so and for those of you who have somebody have help in one way or another please to pass it on please to pass it on please to remember the word Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Have a good day. Enjoy your day. Just remember, one person might be going through a very rough, 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 rough day. When, and just by you saying one single thing, it can lift that person's spirit. Okay? So enjoy your day.